And thankfully, we have not seen any additional strengthening of grace. The 10 o'clock advisory came out. Winds are still at 80 miles an hour. Still a powerful storm, but it really had been in an area of deep, warm water that really could have allowed for an explosion in strength, and that did not happen. Thankfully, so it does appear as though there is still some time for further strengthening as we have seen many, many times at the moment. Winds are at 80 miles an hour, but we have seen recorded gusts of up to 100 miles an hour. Now the forward motion, that is what we like to see pretty fast, 18 miles an hour. So it should fairly quickly move in and out of the Yucatan and then start weakening. Once it gets back over the Bay of Campeche, Southern Gulf, we will likely see further strengthening as a second landfall in East Eastern Mexico is expected as we get more toward late Friday and then well inland more of a rain event in the more mountainous parts of central Mexico. Elsewhere though, again, we are not worried about anything because this big ridge of high pressure is building in. This is what we saw kind of building in last Friday that before Grace was even a named storm was indicating that this would likely just keep moving off to the west and that is definitely what is going to happen as this ridge is looking to be fairly strong. And what that means for us is heat. Temperatures are going to be soaring into the upper 90s, maybe a few spots actually seeing triple digits as the actual temperature. Heat indices will be up over 110, so the heat will be our big concern as we get into the weekend because we're probably not going to see much of any rainfall and probably not a whole lot of cloud cover either. Tropical storm Henri, the latest at 10 o'clock. It remains a tropical storm, and also you can kind of see it almost like it's getting squashed here. Wind shear is really hindering further development or further strengthening at the moment, but it's still expected to gain a little bit of strength as it starts to move pretty fast up toward the north. And again, we are still looking at that potential of a little bit more of an impact in the New England states. Now, computer models are in decent agreement, although as we get kind of toward day three, four and five, we start to see a little bit more spread of the models. But certainly, even if there is not a direct landfall of Henri toward the maybe Cape Cod area of Massachusetts, certainly going to see a higher surf and stronger winds associated with the storm. One good thing, once we are done with Grace and Henri, it appears just based on some of the long range models that we should not see much development. Now, that's not to say we won't see anything. But it certainly does appear as though with this large plume of Saharan dust coming off of the, uh, the uh, uh, African continent across the main development region, Caribbean and uh, Gulf of Mexico, that should really put a cap on any development, at least for the next seven to 10 days across the Atlantic Basin. Every day that's quiet in the in hurricane season is a good day.